Hey everyone, welcome back to IELTS Tech. In today's video, we are going to dive into Angular 17 and learn how to navigate to child routes. If you are building a complex application, understanding how to manage child routes is essential for creating a seamless user experience. So let's get started. Before we jump into the code, let's quickly understand what child routes are. In Angular, child routes are used to create hierarchy of routes where a parent route can have one or more child routes. This is particularly useful for organizing routes. This is particularly useful for organizing routes in a modular way and managing nested view. First, you should already have an Angular project. If not, then you should create one first. Next, we need to create our parent and child components. For this example, we will create a parent component and a child component. So use the Angular CLI to generate these components. So we create a parent component and now I will create the child component. After generating components, you should see them in the app directory here. So now let's define the routes. So for that, open the app.routes.ts. I'm using the Angular 17. If you are using other versions that are older than Angular 17, then your file name might be the app-routing.module.ts. Anyways, so let's set up the route for the parent and child component. First, we will add the route for the first component, path parent, and component would be the parent component. Now we want to define the route for, for the child component. For that, I will specify the property children and that will expect an array. Within that array, I will pass the object and within that object, I will pass the property path child and pass the component child component. Okay, great. Now we have to Add the router outlet in the app.component. So I will delete everything from here and add the router outlet. Save it. We added the router outlet so that the components from the routes could be loaded into this. Okay. Okay. Now we need to start the server. So for that, run the command ng serve dash o. That will start the server and open it in the browser. So now let's open the route for the parent and you can see that the content has loaded of the parent of the parent route now if i want to access the child component you can manually specify the path of the child component but i don't see any content or component for the child route so for that we have to go to the app uh, go to the parent component let's add a heading here parent component and below that I will add nav and then I will add the a tag and let's add the text go to child and in the a tag I will specify router link and give it the path of the child by the way at this time it will not work you will notice that it is not clickable yet the reason is that we did not import the router module yet as I am using standalone component I have to import the router module here okay with that this directive became available and now it is clickable now if you click on that it will still not work the reason is that we still need to add the router outlet in the parent component so let's add the router outlet save it now, if you click on that, you will notice that the child component has been loaded into this parent. So the router link directive is used to navigate to the child route and the router outlet directive is where the child component will be displayed. That's it for today's tutorial on navigating to child routes in Angular 17. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Ayastek for more Angular tutorials. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below. And if you want to read the written versions of these tutorials, then you should visit my blog from ayastech.com. Here you will find 
a lot of resources and written versions of the tutorials that we have on the IAS Tech YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.